here's a quick look at the camera itself. All the controls are here at the bottom. Um, SD card goes on the side, which is nice because a lot of the new ones using micro SD. You probably have a whole bunch of SD cards laying around your house, or if you're replacing an old camera, you probably used an SD card. Well, here you have the selector for off, setup, and on. You have the mode over there for camera, um, video, so forth. Um, here's how you select up, down, okay. This is the battery release up right here. It only comes down this far. See that? You have to pull it the rest of the way, so don't be afraid. It's, it's going to be a little, it's going to take a little bit of a force to get it out, but it's meant to be like that. So you can take the whole thing out, eight batteries, like a standard camera, and put it back in. See, it turns on really quick. One thing I would recommend is for uh, sensitivity, set it to low. I originally had it set to high and I think I had 847 pictures in one night. Uh, it was windy, the branches were moving, the leaves were falling. So every time the camera saw a leaf, it would trigger. So keep your sensitivity on low. Other than that, it, it's a really nice camera. Here's a quick breakdown of everything that comes with the Wimius trail camera. Obviously a box and instructions. This is an AV cable to connect your uh, the entire camera to a television. Here's a, a bracket mount. If you're going to have a stationary place, you're going to keep your camera forever. Um, the strap, so you can strap it down to a tree. This is kind of important. This is a... Uh, mini USB cable, not a micro. So you probably don't have any more of these. So make sure you hold on to this. And uh, this is a remote control for the Wi-Fi when you connect your phone or tablet to your um, to your camera. Though really, in order to save battery, I would just pull out the, the memory card. And of course, here's the camera. <laughs> 